Welcome guys, so in this video I want to compare the last generation Apple M4 against the most fastest and uh, latest Intel Core i7 processor uh, used in my Hackintosh. So we can see what is the score in my Hackintosh, basically I'm using uh, Intel Core i7 4700KF and this 8 core 16 trace processor and I have disabled the efficiency core so basically I'm using only the performance cores here and uh, it's clocked basically one core is clocked at 6 GHz and when all cores has been used it's clocked at 5.6 GHz so we can see the single core and multi core so basically we are beating perfectly M2 but when it comes to, we are going closer to M3 and when you compare to M4, basically M4 is uh, beating us. So the last generation Intel cannot go against the M4 and if we compare uh, the M4, basically M4 is using a mobile uh, iPad, so the power efficiency and performance is great. And here is uh, some comparison between the M1, M2, M3 and M4 uh, CPU. So we have M1 scoring 2346, M2 2653 and M3 3000 and 61 which we are still beating M3 but when it comes to M4 basically M4 is 3760 so compare it in multi-core in multi-core we are better but when it comes to single core M4 is amazing so uh, Apple basically they changed something in the architecture so the previous ships M1, M2 and M3 they just used a little bit uh, tweaked cores but they are basically same CPUs and new M4 is uh, architecture is being changed so basically it's totally new chip and uh, we can expect M4 Pro and probably M4 Max in the next uh, and probably why not M4 Extreme in the next uh, uh, Power Mac or Mac Pro and here is the M4 architecture uh, how the chip is uh, looking for performance score improved branch prediction while dec decode and execution engines next generation ML accelerators and we have here six more efficiency cores, four more, uh, two more than previous generation. Again, improved branch prediction, deeper execution engine, next generation ML accelerator, neural engine, uh, 60 core design, and uh, faster and more efficient display engine, uh, up to 120 hertz. Promotion support, OLED support, next generation architecture, dynamic caching, machining, and hardware ray tracing in the GPU cores. So, basically, uh, this is the new M4, which is amazing. So, I really cannot say anything. This time, Apple was able to basically destroy all the competition so this was quick update and comparison in comparison to my hackintosh guys if you like this video please like and subscribe thank you